Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Hazim bin Sarudlin And my name is number is E1801660 I will proceed with the presentation for activities 1 Which is, it is about how to read the resistor color code So this is the figure that has already been given in the lab sheet There is 3 digit multiply tolerance and TCR the way how to read the resistance color code we look at the first two uh, first two values of resistor if there is a three values of color code it will be a four uh, of a five digits a five difference name of color codes if the first two digits of color code it only need a four names for color code for instance let's go to the table of color code name the first number of value already has been given for the example in the lab sheet 521 ohm values of resistor it is a three digit of resistor 5, 2 and 1 the 5 is referred to green 2 is referred to red and 1 is referred to brown green, red, brown and the black is the multiply multiply by 1 because of 521 ohm only and the tolerance here in the lab sheet is shown as brown but I look at Google I made some research and explore about tolerance in Google mostly they use starting from brown 1% of tolerance and 2% of tolerance is on read name so let's go to 3.21 kilo ohm there is a three digit for the first uh, digit of ohm uh, three is referred to orange two is referred to red and one is referred to brown but difference with the multiply because of it is in kilo or we know it as a thousand it is it is put as brown because of we already have the 3 to 1 and multiply by 10 and if we got 3,210 but in this table we know it, we can use a unit kilo to short the values uh, from 3,210 we can put it as 3.21k then let's go to 82k for instance this is only two digits for resistance value it is referred to gray two is referred to red and orange is referred to multiply and gold is referred to tolerance why this is 4 and this one is 5 because of we look at the at the three first at the first three digit of resistance if 3 we need 5 if 2 we only need 4 that is how we read the resistance color code so that is the way how to read the resistance color code for activity 1 Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mo Faris bin Moazid the match number DE10161 So today I'm going to present regarding the activity 2 on lab 7 entitled current simulation and calculation So this is the uh, circuit configuration for me to for us to do it on a simulation application so in the experiment i'm going to simulate it on protest applications so there are two situations 
first emitter before load and second is the emitter after load so there are four uh, load RL which consists of 100 ohm 150 ohm 200 ohm and 300 ohm so we're going to proceed with the uh, simulation through the protest application we're going to the circuit is based on the figures 7.5 so we proceed with the simulations so this is all the components that are needed based on the configuration of figure 7.5 it consists of a DC uh, voltage supply, a emitter, and and, and a R load. So for the voltmeter, we're going to set it at ten volt. So this is the setting for the voltmeter and uh, for the voltage source. For the R load, we're going to set for the first load, which is the hundred ohm. So I'm going to connect all the components before I run the simulation. So this is the uh, setup after we connected it using a wire. So this is the first scenario which is the emitter before the R load. So we are going to run the simulations. So after the simulation has been, uh, have been run, so you can see that on the emitter there is a reading. So the reading for the first uh, for the first condition which is the R load set is 100 ohm. The M is 0.10. So let's say if we change the emitter locations after the loop so we're going to see that so we're going to continue with the second scenario which is uh, the emitter is located after the unload so we are going to run the simulation so we can see that the emitter shows the reading of the uh, circuit current which is 0 0.10 so that's all for me thank you and assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum, my name is Ahmad Dini Abay Muhammad Fauzi and my metric card number is CE10085 So today I'm going to explain the exercise or experiment 7 which is a basic electrical simulation using DC source So from this experiment, um, I've been using um, activity f uh, I've, I've making activity 3 so in this activity three, um, I've stimulated the circuit by using a Proteus, Proteus professional tree. So, uh, they are categorized, which we have two hundred uh, ohm for resistor one, and the variable uh, resistor which is uh, R two, we have hundred ohm, hundred fifty ohm, two hundred ohm, and three hundred ohm. So I'm going to show you the simulation from the Proteus. So, okay, from this uh, back three, which the input is uh, 10 volt, and the R1 is 200, 200 volt, 200 ohm, which is fixed, and the R2 is variable. But uh, by using this uh, circuit, we're using a fixed resistor. But the value will be changed uh, through next activities. So here's the 10 volt and 200 in series uh, with uh, 100 volt. So we run the simulation. As you all can see, there's the uh, result on the voltage drop from the R1 and the R2. So this is the voltage drop which is 6.67 uh, volt and one more is 3.33 at R2 so if we, we change this value 150 so the voltage drop will be changed then next uh, we change for 200 ohm okay and next is for 300 ohm so so this house uh, the activities will be done all right from the calculation I have calculate, uh, calculated value for the 
100 ohm R2, 150 ohm R2, 200 ohm R2, and 300 ohm R2. So the value is this one. Okay, so you can see it's similar to the simulated value with the calculated value. So that is all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Aiman Al-Fazil. So today I will present to you about my part which is activity 4 for lab 7. So for lab 7 which is uh, for activity 4 in lab 7 which is uh, voltage and current simulation and calculation. So as you can see at this slide. So as figure 2.1 the D4 circuit arrangement based on lab sheet. So U1, U2 and uh, U3 and U4. So this a uh, uh, voltage across the system that I, I, I need to find by using voltage software. So uh, I1, I2, I3 is a uh, uh, current at this uh, at this circuit. I need to simulate and calculate using voltage. So uh, uh, we see the at the voltage. So this is uh, the circuit arrangement that I do in voltage. So I will run. So uh, as you can see, after I run. This is uh, the uh, result for the this circuit. So for the U1 is 6.47. This is uh, I1 0 0.03. Uh, for I2 is 33.5 milliampere. And U, uh, U2 is uh, 3.53 volt. So for I3 is 8.82 milliampere. And this uh, for U2, U3 and U4, which is 0 0.88 volt and 2.65 volt. So, these are based on the simulation. So, after that, I recorded and observed the value and, and put it at the table. So, basically, you can see the table. So, this are uh, the result for the simulated value, simulated value of volt and, and ampere. So, so uh, after that, uh, I made the calculation for, from the circuit. So after that, uh, first, first of all, I, I will find out the R total for the, the register, the load of the circuit. So uh, so that I can find I1 by using VIR, uh, VIR formula, V1, V2, I2, I3. So this are uh, using V, v equal IR. So this is uh, the calculation from for my part for my part so uh, i think that's all for me thank you okay, assalamualaikum my name is mom Aki. so today i want to discuss for the activities uh, have we done so for the first activity is about to identify uh, the color code so in the lab sheet there is a five um, uh, value of ohm so we need to identify uh, the card what is the color by referring the value of ohm at the table and after that for the next activities uh, we start using the practice uh, software to allow the simulate for, for this uh, four experiment so in for the three experiment which is uh, activity two three and four uh, there is um, to measure uh, the current and the volt the voltage by using the emitter and the voltage meter so in this experiment uh, we study for the different technique of connection which is a series and parallel connection and then we measure by using emitter and voltmeter from, from both observation uh, we see that the parallel is more less uh, value of output for both uh, emitter and voltmeter while the series uh, still um, get uh, more than a uh, parallel uh, connection of output so this uh, from this uh, experiment we study that uh, the series and the parallel is quite a different value it is because the connection uh, between the series and parallel is all for me. 
I will proceed with the conclusion of the experiment. The first conclusion is the students are able to simulate the DCS kit with resistor load by using Proteus simulation software. And then we could uh, measure the record for data analysis between before load and after load by connecting the DC emitter in the circuit connection. Then uh, for others activity, we also uh, succeed to simulate the DC emitter and DC voltmeter correctly. Same goes with DC emitter, it just only need to extra multimeter which is a DC voltmeter in skid simulation. Furthermore, the students are able to calculate the resistance of given resistor effectively and output results are acceptable. Um, calculation, we use a formula given in the lab sheet and we only need to calculate it directly. Uh, sides of using uh, simulation to simulate the data. And the last one, we understand now how to read the color code of resistance before the circuit connection to avoid the value mistakes. So the data we got is accurate and precisely and make the data is acceptable for our experiment. So that's all. The for overall our our experiment for this lab. So thank you from us.